Next Sunday will be Palm Sunday, believe it or not. And today, in today's gospel, we have heard Jesus saying it's about time. The, the, the Greek um, thinkers have come, they want to see Jesus. They are, they are attracted to his ways. They want to see him. They want to know him. And Andrew and Peter or Philip go and say, there are some Greeks who want to see you. And he's, Jesus it doesn't say anything about the Greeks. He says, ah, time has come. The hour is at hand. It's time for me to be who I really am. One of the problems about time is that it, it takes time. It, it's an investment. Time is about now, but about the future too. What is this going to mean for the future? We all know what it means to be impatient. We want it right now. We want results right now. When I was, uh, I was young, if you turned on the radio, it took a long time for the radio to warm up or the TV. Uh, it, it, it took a long time for the iron to warm up. Now you turn on it right like that. It's on right away. I don't know about the iron. I don't iron anymore, but TV and radio Right there, the computer, bingo. So we've been kind of encouraged to be impatient. This week I spoke with a young woman who for Lent gave up social media. And it's quite costly, except she's finding out that she has more time for other things, especially herself. She talked about the extravagance of time. She figured that she spent two to three hours a day watching other people's lives on this little narrow screen. And how selfish that was, how self-centered, and really wasn't social at all. It was about her and what other people were doing, but not much social interaction. Jesus says, the hour has come. And he says, unless a grain of wheat fall into the earth and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies to itself as grain, it flourishes, brings forth wheat. Fruitfulness. But it is an investment. It takes time to grow. It takes time for anything precious to grow. Relationships take time. What Jesus lived and what he invites us to time, because he is, a, he is becoming more and more aware that his time has come, that for which he, he, he came for this purpose. All his 33 years are going to be sacramentalized or consummated in this one act. And this one act, which we are going to celebrate beginning next Sunday, and we celebrate at the Eucharist, is an act of gratitude. We'll talk about that next week. But about time, it's about time, they say. And for Jesus, he's saying, it is about time. A definition for me of time is the instances of responding to the invitations to availability. Time is an invitation, a second, five seconds, a minute. It is an... Uh, a moment of my life that is merely an invitation to be available as Jesus was his whole life. What is being consummated, celebrated, sacramentalized 
is God's infinite invitations for us to be available to grace, to receive the sacraments of time, the sacraments of relationship. What this young woman was saying was, I've become much more relational going for walks with friends rather than watching my friends post pictures and I say, I like that. What she's saying is social media isn't really social. It's insular. It's self-centered. Whereas being available for the invitations to availability, are, it, it makes us more relational, more that we are individually our own social media. We are a, a medium in which God's infinite communication with us, our, our God who is infinitely social with us, asks us to be available to the invitations to be social, relational, sacramental. So we receive the Eucharist, we receive the Word of God, we receive God's grace to be freer and freer from what confines us to isolation, to non-responsive, self-centered, egocentric paralysis. And that th this young woman found herself much more available for walks, for uh, having significant conversations, and much less about her own self-involvement, about other people's lives. Oh, it's interesting to be involved in other people's lives, but not for two to three hours a day. And what, what people who are uh, addictive to the social media, they're addicted to other people's lives and not their own. Not that we get addicted to our lives, we are freed by our truth, by our relationship with Jesus. The hour has come every minute, every second, the hour has come for us to be as available to life as Jesus was to his death. That every moment of his life was like every other moment. That's what we believe. He was always the same. Available to the poor, to the challenges, to the insults, to the times when he could be very helpful. He was free to be his own social media, saying, this is who I am and I'm here for you. That's my purpose. That's for which I came. And my ultimate availability is where I'm heading now. I am then inviting you to the same realization, the same acceptance. We are grains of wheat falling into the earth. And it, it does take time for us to give fruitfulness. That's true. We have to take time and pray and, and listen to ourselves. And w to where and to whom am I missioned? To, to whom am I to offer his grace? That is achieved by my dying to my selfishness, to my being my own social media, involved in my own life and not involved in being fruitfulness in the lives of others. So it's a real challenge, it's a real uh, prayer to be that free, freed from what confines me to my time to be available for my time with your time. That hour comes every second. We pray for that freedom these last days of Lent.